Hey everybody, and welcome back. Don't worry about all the stuff that's dropping around here. So, last time, shenanigans occurred, and we got our, uh, our sea moth kind of beached. So we need to make a terraformer, which needs an advanced wiring kit, golden computer chip, table coral, silver, and quartz. Need more table coral. And I need two gold. Alright. So yeah, basically, uh, I managed to, on the edge of the world, and I'm not even joking about that, what is presumably and arguably the edge of the world, uh, got my Seamoth stuck. Which means I need the terraformer to get it unstuck. I tried pretty hard and unsuccessfully at that. Oh no. Darn it, I actually do need to have my knife. Table girl. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> basically, uh, the only way I think we can get it uh, un unstuck is this, uh, and that's mostly just because I don't want to uh, have to build another one. All right, so I should be able to make a computer chip. An advanced wiring kit. And then a terraformer. So, terraformer... where is it? Oh, that's big. That's kind of annoying, actually, how big that is. Uh, no, not that. I want organic. Perfect. All right. Uh, I want to mess with this a little bit first. Drag, right button, shift, drag. Okay, this will work. All right, I'm taking this pretty much for the, the only... Oh, I have one material. It says that right above there. Uh, pretty much the only reason I'm taking this uh, is because I don't want to have to swim all the way out there, can I please? You're having some fun here, game. What the hell? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. And away we go. Literally full speed ahead. I feel much safer in here than I did on the drive back. Or the drive here. Swim. I guess it was a swim at that point. We're going on an adventure. So yeah, it was the other island that we uh, we haven't been to, which is the other sad part. So I didn't even get to explore a new island. I mean, technically I've already explored it from previous uh, things, but still. Go, fishes, go! It's interesting. Are those bubbles? I can't actually tell. The, the, the weird thing is I've got something on my screen. It's like right over here when I'm looking straight ahead. And it's just a little bit darker. Let's see. I don't know what it is. I think it's just some dirt. 
Okay, now it's gone. But it's just like that shadow. So there's the island uh, that we've already explored. It has the observatory on it, as we can kind of see from here. I was a genius and managed to go even further than the island. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a cool blue. I didn't realize the water was so blue here. I want to be on the surface because I don't want to accidentally beach this. Not that I think I can, but I don't know if it would take a whole bunch of damage suddenly and out of nowhere. Not that I've seen health on this thing. We're going at a pretty good clip though. Why did I go so far away? I think that's it. That's it right there. Okay, I do want to look below the water. Knowing that C makes you descend is really nice, but it's just in a really awkward position. Come on. Okay, we're like right here. Or not. Jeez, I really went far. My... Oh, I think I see it. There we go. Alright. Can I please actually get my feet on the sand? Oh sweet Jesus. It respawned in a worse place. Just Trying to remove all the material. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yay, we rescued the Sima. Very nice. That's really cool. Alright! See, mission accomplished! By the way, you can get some sick vertical, even in this thing. Like, just by descending a little bit. And then just holding space. Look at that. How far do you think that got out of the ocean? Because that looked like a solid 5 to 10 feet. Which might not have been the actual amount of air like beneath the bottom of this sub, but that's still pretty darn impressive. Alright, so I want to go check out the other island. That's kind of where I've got myself uh, right now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I kind of want to do in this game, but I also have come to the realization that the content is just kind of missing right now. Like, uh, we're running out of stuff to do. Like, there's some stuff, some more stuff to explore, maybe a couple things to get. I could build a base really deep beneath the ocean. I know that there's some under, like, under ocean things that I've yet to really fully uh, explore, and I kind of want to do that which requires making uh, a bunch of compression things for the Seamoth. 
Which I am willing to do, and I think maybe that's what I'll work on, but first I'm going to hit up this island. Okay, so at this island, we want to aim right at the Aurora, and then head for the other side. Uh, we're also going to get to see what happens if you run into a large creature, because we're probably going to run into a Reaper Leviathan uh, on our way past the ship. It's quite reasonable. Although if we stay on uh, the port side, which is the left side, um, then we might not, because it mostly stuck to uh, the starboard and the bow, which is the right and front. Is that right? The stern is the back, I'm pretty sure. And the bow is the front. We Yeah, I don't know. This this thing doesn't travel particularly fast, unfortunately. Which is why I'm just doing silly things like trying to jump. We're eventually going to hit some shallows here. It's a very interesting rendering bug. If you look at the uh, uh, the old escape pod, when we're on the surface, the uh, horizon kind of cuts it off. If there's not water, it doesn't render properly. That's really odd. That's cool, because I can I can guess the way that the, it was coded that caused that to happen. And it's because it's layered on top of what's behind it. And depending on how the skybox is, there might be nothing behind it. Huh. Good to know, I guess. I, I do kind of want to watch where I'm going here. I don't want to slam straight into stuff. I could also build the thing that allows this to be compressed more, but I have a feeling that the spaces that I'm going to want to get into are going to be smaller. Plus, I believe I can carry a couple extra power cells just to carry a couple extra power cells. I do like that this is based off of, like, the actual positioning of the sub and not where you're looking. Because... Oh, that's the thing that's erupting. I didn't... Oh, I guess there's one closer to the Aurora, isn't there? I guess if I see a really big wreck... I wasn't sure if that would cause problems. We are almost to the Aurora. Yeah, this uh, this uh, ship, the Cyclops, is not particularly fast. It's decent, but it's not uh, ridiculous. So yeah, as, as I was kind of alluding to, there's only a couple episodes left in this series, I think, until the next big update, which is, which is saddening, honestly, because... Dang it. And we just hit a fish. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Uh, I don't know if I can navigate around this or not. This is gonna be close. Unfortunately, I can't really see. There we go. If I'm going high enough to clear the water, I can't see what's underneath it, so I can't see how close I am. Or how far I am, more accurately. Or possibly more accurately. It's just some debris. Pretty sure I explored all of that debris. That is one of the other downsides of this, is that it's really kind of hard to get out of this place. Oh, I'm I'm just standing here really, really rigidly. 
and I actually left and right don't actually move my hands. Though that would be a cool addition. I don't think the compass moves yet either. Now we are approaching the front of the ship. Which means we now risk Reaper Leviathan. It's the last place I saw it. it, was out in front of the ship. I have no idea what it'll do to the Cyclops. This is just gonna kinda be like a horror movie. I mean, I can. Hold forward, and we'll keep moving. Uh, that's facing backwards. This is the top of the radar tower. Okay, we've entered horror music. Okay, we're on the surface. Oh nice, we can use this to see how much air we get. That's a lot of air. Okay, this is on the keel. Actually, we can use this to see how much air we get. Because if this clears... we Uh, not very much. Okay, uh, how do I exit out of this? Okay, um... I feel like we might have missed the island. Well, there's the front of the Aurora. Okay, I do think I want to... I want this one. Pretty sure this is what I want. I don't know how far my draw distance is, though. So this may or may not be helpful. Also, I won't see anything bad coming at me from beneath the ocean. Which may or may not be a bad thing. I thought there was supposed to be another island. Maybe not. What's really interesting, actually, in my opinion, is uh, if you look at the bottom right uh, of the screen, you can see the uh, degree that I am looking so I can see what my alignment is with the ship so if I'm looking exactly behind me and I have the ship lined up behind me I can then go look exactly in front of me and know that I'm headed in that direction it's really nice it, it's it's not quite having the compass because I don't have that HUD on anymore I took it off Oh, that draw distance did some odd things. Is it really? I swear there was supposed to be an island here. I thought we found it before. Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. This is an option. I mean, we very well might just drive off the edge of the map, I suppose. Is there anything down? I'm going to guess the answer is no here. I'm not moving forward anymore, I'm just moving straight down. Because if there's nothing straight down, then I can be fairly confident that I have wandered out of the bounds of the current map. I'm feeling pretty confident that I have wandered outside the bounds of the map.
Oops. Okay, yeah, there's nothing 300 meters down. Except for me accidentally thinking that crap on my computer screen is something of value. Yeah, there's just nothing. Okay. Back to the surface we go. I'm also rotating. To aim back here. Everything is in this direction. It's a pretty good indicator that I done goofed. Though I swear there was supposed to be another island. Maybe it was actually a lot closer to the aurora than I thought. What is that? That must be the radar on the back that's going nuts. The only downside to this is you can't see your your height or your so your depth. Definitely looks like I'm above the water. I'm really high on the water. Oh my gosh, this thing is so slow. Oh, I wonder how close to dehydrated I am right now. Alright, so... I think I am willing... Caution. Mild dehydration yep. detected. Fluid intake recommended. Oh, here. I do need to go eat some food, though. Yeah, we got some good air. I kind of want to go mess with uh, a Reaper Leviathan. Though the thing is, if this gets destroyed, I'm pretty sure my Seamoth gets destroyed. So I don't know if I really want to do that. A big part of me does. Mostly because this sub has no, uh, has no HP. Like, I, at least I don't see one, or see any. So I don't think it can be damaged. I just don't think it's possible. So here's what I'm gonna do. We have approached the layer of the beast, albeit slowly. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yeah, the game kinda looks like it freezes here. That was actually the first time I've heard that. We're gonna go find us a Reaper Leviathan. Primarily because why not? We've reached the point of experimentation. Oh wait, that's something. Oh, that's part of the bottom of the ship. This is actually a really cool perspective. This is a neat way to look at things. It looks like there's something cool over there.
Okay, just debris. I'm so scared. Nah. I think I have tempered my curiosity on uh, whether or not there's useful things out here. Unless I see, like, usable things, like uh, a tech box, I'm probably not going to leave this place again. Really though? This is just a giant drop-off? That's kind of disappointing. And I guess that's what I expected. I was only over here very briefly before, last time before I was uh, viciously assaulted. Though that was a long time ago. Like, just in terms of updates even. Just more debris. Hey! Hey, asshole. What you gonna do? Oh, come back here! I'm gonna chase you down. If you look here, we see the Reaper Leviathan in his natural habitat, being an asshole and running away. Okay, I need to not be... Can you, can you damage me? I don't think you can. I think you want to, but I also think you can't. Can I hit you? Okay. I'm going to ram you. Ramming speed. This thing cannot achieve ramming speed. Damn. Oh, is he pushing me? I believe he pushed me off angle. It turns so slow. I can't be damaged, what do you want? It's now night time. This is not the camera I want. This isn't the camera I really want either. I can now see Jack. No shit nighttime approaches. Alright, so we can't really mess with the Reaper, and he can't really mess with us. Unfortunate, but uh, probably for the best. And now I have to take the very long and arduous trip back to base. We've almost expended half the power in this thing. I wonder if it naturally recharges or not. This is going to be a really long and boring trip. I might just call the episode <laughs> and then drive back so you guys don't have to watch this. Um, but since I'm going to be recording this anyway, uh, I'll at least gab on until... Uh, until I have no more time. So, um, basically, what I think is going to happen with this series, because I think now is a good time, is I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm starving. Uh, basically, I believe I'm going to go ahead and, in the next couple of episodes, or the next episode maybe only, we're going to see, uh, I'm going to try and trick out my sea moth to go as deep as it possibly can and we're gonna see if we can find somewhere to get even further down. I know that it has to exist somewhere uh, mostly because I've watched Markiplier play this. Uh, I'm not drinking that, it'll make me even hungrier. Um, and then we'll maybe do some exploring there um, but probably after that it's waiting for the next big update which could be any time. It, it could be any time. It really could. I don't know. And that new update might cause us to have to restart, although I'm not sure about that. We'll find out, I guess. Um, it's just going to kind of be one of those things. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, now to red base. Bip! Did I just hit something? I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, so, so I think that's the plan. I think it's a pretty decent one. Uh, I This episode already had a lot less in it than I was expecting. Um, but honestly, that's mostly because this thing moves so friggin' slow. And also because I don't want to do... Well, A, I don't have the time to do enough editing to make a decent length video that... Like, from footage. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if you wanted a highlight reel of things... Um, even or like a reasonable highlight reel of things to make like a 15 minute episode you have to play for like two hours and I unfortunately do not have the time to play for two hours for a single episode and then edit it down to the shorter version uh, it is unfortunate but it is also true and since I am recording the night before still uh, this weekend is the last weekend that I am busy um, in the streak of weekends that I've been busy and not able to keep up with, or not be able to build up a backlog of content, which is unfortunate. Um, so, that's why these episodes have been shorter. Though I think that these episodes being shorter is actually better. Um, I've been looking at the stats uh, on my channel. Uh, not that I'm trying to like explicitly play the get more viewers game, but trying to find the happy medium of time uh, like episode length for everybody where more people watch all of the episode because that's you know I think that's reasonable right um, it seems to show that the shorter episodes have been garnering slightly more view time i.e. have uh, been what is that is that Is that the solar panels? Is that the base's solar panels lighting up? And the food? I think it is. I mean, I'm here. Um, but yeah. Wow, yeah, it's just lighting stuff up. Oh, well, now I just can't see. Oh, I'm on the keel again. I want to be on the conning tower. Yeah, it's showing me all the stuff. That's kind of cool, but also a little disconcerting. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're back. Actually, I want to get this out of here. And now, of course, I've lost my train of thought. Uh, totally lost my train of thought. Because I'm a dummy. I know I was talking about different things with the episodes. I just haven't. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so I think we're ready to call the episode. I, I feel bad that I lost track while trying while trying to orient that right. Um, I was talking about the future of the series. Oh, I was talking about the half-hour episodes being, I think, better for uh, engagement for everybody. It's just easier. It's a shorter length than the hour, which means it's easier to watch in a single bite-sized chunk. And it's already pretty long, half-hour episode. So we've already gone a little bit over what I intended. So I will say thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I've kind of laid out what we're going to be doing in the future here. 
So hopefully that sounds good to you. If you have something that you really want me to try out, let me know uh, in the comments section down below. I'm always glad to hear advice, um, especially from uh, people who, you know, want to, if you want to be vocal, if you tell me what you want out of an episode, you will probably get it. Um, that's the nice thing about being one of just over 100 subscribers. So, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time, and until then, keep yourself hydrated and, and fed, even when you're running through a sub. And uh, also, <laughs> keep your gears turning.